Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I want to just, today's topic just being kind of a Marvel versus DC thing. Not just actually being like, oh, which one is better. It's just more of a conversation of, it's just kind of an interesting, like, nerdy battle between the different fan bases. Because it, it's, it's a conversation that's come up because obviously I've heard different people talk about the fact is that it's not that big of a thing that people make it more of a big of a thing of like, oh yeah, these two competing companies and stuff like that, which obviously competition is good and stuff like that in certain spaces. You need other people kind of pumping out stuff that make you go, oh, let me step my game up or something like that. Sure, but obviously it gets to the point like a lot of fans kind of bash. And to me, it's interesting because growing up, you know, even though I wasn't that well versed in the comic book world, I wasn't that well versed superheroes and stuff like that even though I growing up knew kind of about the Marvel and DC thing and it kind of actually got me thinking is it really as big as I think it is like have, have the companies actually ever fueled that in the past or something I mean that's something I should actually look into at the time we recorded so I haven't looked into that but it was just something floating in the back of my mind because I get it because like obviously like everyone's going to be into the thing that they're really into they're always going to rep that if you're a DC fan of course you're going to push DC but at the same time you can still like like Marvel as well like a great example would be like Greg Miller from kind of funny I know that he's a big DC fan but you know obviously like some he he, he messed he He's cool with, you know, Marvel as well, but obviously he more reps DC. Like, he'll jokingly probably, like, make, make a joke of shitting on Marvel or something like that, but, you know, still. Like, Roxy Stryer, for example, I know she's kind of in a similar vein. Like, she wasn't always the biggest, like, DC person, but now she's kind of all DC, which doesn't take away from the fact is that she loves, like, Marvel stuff. She loves the Marvel movies and stuff like that. So it's, 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 it can happen. I'm not saying, like, it's an abnormality or anything, but I just think it's kind of a fascinating thing, because I'm in that same lane. I've never been like, oh, I prefer DC over Marvel. It's like, no, they've always just been just as important to me. Like, breaking it down, like, if I had to pick my two favorite superheroes, one would be Spider-Man, just at the top of the list. He's a Marvel hero. I mean, it wouldn't matter if he was DC. It, like, he just what just who that character is, I just love. But the second would probably be Batman, who's a DC character. So, like, I have love for both. I've watched plenty of DC and Marvel movies, as well as TV shows. Like, at this point in time, I could honestly tell you which one I actually know more about, just because over the past couple of years, I've learned so much because of the Marvel movies and the TV shows. I feel like I might have a leg up with, like, my knowledge of Marvel stuff, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't know, I've learned quite a bit about DC as well, so it's really kind of hard to, you know, I'm not trying to measure it, but I am kind of curious, like, which comic book universe am I more familiar with? I mean, to be fair, I'm sure I'm still at the tip of the iceberg with any of it, but still, I'm wondering which one would kind of etch it out when it comes to my own knowledge. Like I said, you know, ultimately, everyone can have their preferences and stuff like that, because, like, hey, maybe you like Marvel more right now because you're like, oh, the Marvel movies are so good, maybe you don't feel that same way about the DC movies, and that's fine. Like, everyone's got their comforts, because I have been heard someone recently, like, a little while back, I talked about that. They kind of got love for both, but obviously, they go more with like the Marvel TV shows or no I think it was like I forgot it might have been vice versa like they they're in the t they're into the TV shows of one but not the other like I think they're fine with the Marvel TV shows but they don't like the DC or something like that but either way it's just just because everyone's got their preference like certain things kind of hit you in a certain way like all like I said for me personally everything all across the board kind of hits me the same I'm just like I, I nerd out and love it all so ultimately you know it's like I said, this was just something that was kind of floating through my head. I just kind of wanted to put it out there and just to the internet. I'd love to know the, your perspective on this whole situation. Is there a particular reason you rap who you rap? Like, you know, did you just personally have a bigger attachment to DC? So do you grow up just kind of being like, forget Marvel, I don't care? Or maybe you started off like that and maybe you're not like that anymore. You know, like, I'm cute. I'm just curious where everyone stands with this situation. Are you just kind of in the middle with me where you love both of them? Or do you just kind of like innately, you know, because obviously there's a whole conversation of like, oh yeah, certain characters are very similar to other characters in the other camp, so it's like, oh, this camp copied this camp is always something I've heard and stuff like that, so I'm curious where you stand at the end of it all. Like I said, I just think it's kind of a fascinating conversation that I'd love to get other people's perspective on. But really, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Next time, meet, be happy, be safe, a little like to the fullest and enjoy it. Good day and good